Today we're using rice as it recently updated and added like a crazy struggle mechanic all about colonizing Greenland. Now to start that, we need to take a decision. Explore the seas west of Iceland. A few sailors claim to have sighted a large landmass to the far west after the ships were blown off course while sailing to and from Iceland. Could there be more land out there? No one has dared to formally explore this area yet, but I am willing to take the risk by funding a great expedition to the west. Now, it can go wrong. As you can see, there's all stuff here about the colonization of Greenland, but we will get into that as it appears. So onward to a grand adventure, planning the great expedition. So we get to choose one of these people to lead the expedition. So we have Guttorm, this woman. We know what, we'll go with him. He's an uncle and champion. You know what? I think we can trust him. So he should take responsibility. So is history about to be made? Assuming this great expedition succeeds, the decision to explore the seas west of Iceland is permanently unavailable. It's okay, so they're about to set sail. So hopefully it goes all well. Now he gets the trait, adventuring in the western seas. So he gets more prestige. And basically it's like an activity, like a feast or a hunt. So we're just going to wait and see and hope it goes well. The Greenlandic divergence small changes in dialect slightly different customs it was easy to miss at first over time small changes led to large ones however the now norse living in greenland have begun to identify themselves of greenlandic instead so it is a new culture formed and greenland has been discovered there are all there are ordinary adventurers and travelers who are often forgotten after their deaths and then there are those whose glory and fame will live on on in future legends for centuries and centuries to come. Today, there is no doubt Guttorm is one such legendary explorer. So there we are. He successfully found Greenland. And you can see he has his trait there, Explorer, which is a very powerful trait. So there's a birth of a new era in the North Atlantic. So we do that and a catalyst has been triggered. And as you can see, the colonization of Greenland has started. The whole struggle mechanic with it. You can see all the involved characters here. Um, it's, it's so in-depth. Like, it's actually insane. But first, I just wanted to say, if you are new around here, do consider subscribing as we're so close to 30,000. And honestly, it would mean so, so much to me. Thank you. So if you go to view ending decisions, there's three different decisions. There's a bad ending where you abandon Greenland. So we get a nickname, Pragmatic. All the decisions uh, will no longer be available. Well, there's this one where you basically take control of it. Now, there's things like resilience and networks, which we'll get into in a second. Yeah, you need uh, different cultural pillars. You need uh, to control a lot of the Nordic Seas region. And the final one is regional integration. So we get the nickname the Explorer, a bunch of prestige. So they're the three ending decisions. Now, there's a bunch of things that affect it. We're in the settlement phase. You can go to integration or substance. Now, if we go to decisions, you can see there's a bunch of new decisions. Like explore the seas west of Greenland. And this can allow you to basically discover Vinland. And that does become available. Establish Nordic ivory carving centers. Now, there's this one, which is very important, where you support Greenland. Because um, to actually end the decision, you need um, Greenland to have certain like resilience and like good networks and stuff like that. So we can support Greenland for 50 gold. And now the further you go down the air, the more expensive supporting them does become, but the greater the effects. So what you basically want to do is up to you. But I think I would like to basically have regional integration. Now to do that, we need to have the struggle phase go to the integration phase and we can affect that by like sending supplies and that to Greenland. And if they are successful, we'll get more points towards the integration phase. But if all stuff like that fails, like you can send supplies and it fails, it doesn't reach Greenland. Progress will go towards the substance phase, and that's the opposite of what we want. You also need to control more than 50% of the Nordic Seas region, and Greenland's resilience and networks both need to be over 850. So we increase that by like sending supplies and that as well. Our fame needs to be above level four, and we need to control at least two of these regions. Now we do start off in the Viking region, so we'll go for that first. That is going to involve a war with this guy though, so it's a bit dangerous. But we do also need to take this guy's land. So we'll start off by conquering this guy's county. So what we're going to do now is finish sieging his county and we have one. Oh, never mind. We captured him in a battle. Lovely. So we can enforce demands there. Now to get the full Viking region, yeah, we do need 
to go to war with this guy. So Snake in the Eye is probably out of our reach right now. It's probably a bit too dangerous. So what we can do, we can send some support to Greenland. So let's do that. We only have 50 gold, so we can only send some basic supplies. Of course, there is other things like constructing temples, uh, send practical materials, but it all does cost a bit more gold. So we'll send a shipment of basic supplies. Now it can go wrong. So we'll get an event in a second. There we are. Aid arrives in Greenland. So we gained Piety Prestige, Greenland's resilience increased by 8 to 261, and its networks increased by 5 to 254. Remember, I think we need to set 850 in both of these to be able to end the struggle. So we really got to support Iceland as much as we can. Now, as we're going to need to send like a lot of supplies and that to Iceland, it's going to cost a lot of money. So I think the best thing we can do is just try and build as many markets as we can, because of course we're tribal. So this is probably the best way we can make money. So that's going to be my focus. And of course, we do need to control at least 50% of the Nordic seas region. So I think it's everyone who's involved in the struggle. We need to control at least 50% of it. So if we focus our way up around here and maybe Iceland as well, that should go well. I think that'll be our plan. So early on, we're just going to keep fighting. We're going to struggle. Or we could conquer Duchy. Yeah, let's do that. There we are. Valuable hostage captured. We captured, I guess, his son. Yeah. So now we can end this wall. And there we are. We have a decent chunk of land now. Places we can actually build marketplaces. Uh, we're going to start... Oh, there's someone raiding us, really. Okay, well, we can just march over there and defeat them, hopefully. Yes. Okay, nice. Right, let's disband that. And what we're going to do is in our capital, we're going to put down some markets. And every once in a while, look, we get a Greenland status report. So we can see their resilience and their network. You have estates on Greenland. These are basically land that you own on Greenland through like decisions and that. And I think it depends on how well Greenland is going. You gain like gold, prestige, piety or lose it. So if we keep building up Greenland, hopefully that can actually turn into like a decent income source for us as well. So there is actually a few good reasons to do this. Oh, and there we have it. That month we earned 21 gold from Greenland and now we can create the Duchy of Vikings. So let's create there and we are now a mighty Jarl. So that means, yeah, we can give away this and not lose the land. Oh, so this guy has declared war on us. How powerful is he compared to us? Around about the same. Okay, there, this is quite risky. So what we can do, we can probably make an alliance quickly with our youngest daughter. So we can get an alliance with the one and only. So let's send that. And now we can call him into our war because we're probably going to need some help defeating his army. So let's just do that. We're going to hold out on our capital. Just hope our capital doesn't get raided. But he is sending his troops. Okay, yeah, we're going to lose the battle, which is a shame. But here we are, allies a year. <laughs> They're basically going to win the war for us. There we are. And our allies basically just won that for us without us really needing to do anything. Lovely. And we have a quite a lot of prestige. So what we're going to do is just build up some Varangian veterans. These are like the most, I, 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 I think, some of, if not the most powerful heavy footmen in the game. So if we can just build up a fair few of them, we can defend ourselves from basically anything. There we are. So we can see this. Look, the AI are actually taking decisions within the struggle. So we can see. So this was triggered by our neighbor and he enlisted clergy to go to Greenland. So that gave us plus five towards the integration phase, which is fantastic because that is what we want to get to. And actually, again, it's such a unique struggle though. It's not like any other struggle or anything I could have thought of. Most of the ideas for struggles I had are all like just fighting struggles, right? This one's like all about colonizing Greenland, discovering Vinland, either supporting them or abandoning them. It just makes it such a unique experience. There we are. And our final market was built because yeah, right now our domain limit that we can personally hold is four. So we have built markets in each and every one of them. So we're up to 2.9 gold per month. Now this is money now. We're going to try and reinvest back into Greenland so we can support them once again, but we're going to save up. We'll save up at least 100. There we are. So we can support Greenland. And now we have a bit more gold. We have a lot more stuff we can do. There you are. This seems like a good one. Recruit settlers. So what I think this one will do is we'll recruit to some settlers and send them off to go to Greenland to help support them over there. We're going to recruit them, send an aid to Greenland. Now, hopefully this is a success. Otherwise, that's 100 gold gone. There we are. Aid arrived successfully. We got quite unlucky, though. It did only increase their networks by one. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's not so great. 
Now, this guy next to us is kind of weak, even with all his allies. So we're going to go to war and we're going to conquer Duchy and try and take all of his land. Because remember, we do need to take a lot of land to uh, end the struggle. Oh, no. Okay, we're getting attacked though, so we're going to call our ally to both of them. And we're going to have to wait until he arrives to actually go and fight these off because he's a much more powerful than us. But while we wait, we'll do a little bit of sieging. Please arrive. Why hasn't he come here yet? Oh, he's all the way down there, sieging. Right, okay, fair enough. Did, I don't know why he's down there. I was hoping he'd come to me so he could like help me, you know, fight them off. Oh, yeah, we've lost. This is awful. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to win this war. We can probably win the war we've started. Yeah, you know what? Um, we're going to surrender it to try and save some of our control. I think later on we'll be able to get it back. But right now, it's just pointless to try and fight it. But we're still going to gain a duchy this way. So it's not too bad. Here we are. And we have successfully won that one. So we, we still gained a fair chunk of land. So before we even had a chance to, the King of Alba is sending an expedition to go even further west. Now, I think if this is successful, that should discover Vinland. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on it, see how it goes. Ooh, the discovery of Vinland. Yes, it was successful. So yeah, we do have other things now where we can like support Vinland as well. The same thing we have been doing for like Greenland. Now we can send an expedition to the west. I don't know what will happen. Oh, so we can choose where to go to. I'm not sure if we need, we need to do that. We're going to focus on Greenland. What we can do is we can sponsor a whale hunt. It's going to cost us 100 gold, but hopefully if it goes successfully, we'll earn more money. We earned 140. So there we are. We earned some extra gold right there. I was just checking. Yeah, these islands are a part of the region. So I think we can take these quite quite easily. So let's just go for that next. Take all these little islands out up here. We should be able to board them. This is a problem with like islands like this though. Like if they have a somewhat decent army, you are not getting on that island. <laughs> like if they have good troops, it's going to be a struggle. But we have even better troops, so we're okay. So this guy as well uh, is our vassal and has both of these islands. Just look at him. He's a giant. He's a berserker. He's an aspiring blade master. He's august. <laughs> It's insane. See, we don't want to get on the wrong side of him. Luckily, he does have a 100 opinion of us. So let's try and keep it that way. Yeah, we have taken both of these islands. Now, the last one is taken by Alba. So we can probably ignore that one for now. And I think we can move now on to Iceland. And of course, we can just raise our troops quite close. We can raise all. Let's get straight over there onto their capital. Oh, and we captured his air straight away. So that means we can enforce the mans. And there we have it. If we go here and we go to ending decisions, we can see we now control 19%. Of course, we do need to control at least 50. You know what? Let's send some more support to Greenland. We have a lot of money. Now you can see these more expensive one. If we um, construct these, which is huts to shelter animals, store crops or goods, we earn additional gold annually. So let's hope this is success. Please be successful. Please don't fail. Now we've spent loads of money. Excellent. It was successful. So we gained some prestige, piety, and we gained for 10 years funded constructions of shieldings in Greenland. Yeah, that's the extra gold annually. And the chances of successful expeditions are increased. And that increased Greenland's resilience by 18 and their networks by 7. We can organize, yeah, a hunting trip as well. So let's try that and we'll do a great hunt. How much is that? 103 gold. Well, we can afford that. So let's try a great hunt. Hunt. We're going to hunt walruses. So it ends in August. One can only hope that they will return successfully with many walrus tusks in tow. Yes, we, we, we hope. Please. Oh, so it was a success. We gained 92 gold. So I think we actually lost a little bit of money. But Greenland's resilience did increase. So you know what? I count that as a success. Oh, what is this? Hostile foreigners. While engaging in their tasks of locating and hunting walruses, my hunting party appears to have encountered a group of strange foreigners who were also hunting there and were led by a certain Akamak. Perhaps they lived nearby, or perhaps they also travelled to Nordstra from a faraway lands as well. These foreigners were either of hostile and threatening nature, or they misunderstood my hunter's intentions. As the two groups came to blows, the battle was thankfully brief, and casualties were minimal before both sides retreated. It must have been harrowing to encounter hostile strangers in such a desolate land. Although my hunting party did lose some of their supplies, and a couple of my hunters died, I should be thankful that this encounter did not escalate further. Oh, we lost money. So yeah, who are these then? An unreformed Inuit faith? 
and a foreign culture. I wonder where these actually came from. So we have got to be on the lookout for them then. Uh, for she's going to get attacked by people also hunting there, I assume. Ooh, now the other person on Iceland is actually quite weak. So if we gain a little bit of prestige any second now, there we are, we can declare this war and we can take all of Iceland for ourselves. That is one of the requirements of ending the struggle, if you remember. Wait, why are they going on sea? Is it actually quicker? Can they not walk there? That is strange. But either way, we keep on moving. We captured a valuable hostage as well in that battle. So we are up 95%. There we go. Enforce demands and disband that. And we have full control of Iceland. So if we check, there we are. That is now ticked and we control 22%. So there's still a lot of work to do. Okay, so I just created some of the duchy titles and now we can make our own kingdom. I think it's probably worth it. So we do have two sons who did just come of age. This guy is fairly average and this guy is also fairly average i mean this guy may be slightly better overall and he does have quick i guess so yeah what we can do now is found a new kingdom and what we want to do of course is add laws scandinavian elective it is expensive but then succession is always basically guaranteed so it is worth doing so once again, we are able to support Greenland. We need to do this as much as possible because we need to get their network and what is it? The network and resilience to 850, I think it is. So let's see. Do this one. We can annually earn more prestige. So let's do that. Hope it's a success. They all have been so far. So you know what? I'm pretty confident. We are close to dying though. But that did arrive. So now it's 447 and 503. So it is still a... a a bit to go and it's probably not a bad idea to maybe move to learning see if we can just survive a bit longer now alba is weak and their region does count towards and it gives the northern sea region we need to actually occupy 50 percent of so we could declare war conquer duchy and do moray and take all of this so i think that's probably a smart thing to do and we shouldn't need any allies to do this our army is quite powerful now and let's go straight for their capital and then what we can do is we'll split them in half and begin two sieges try and get this done as soon as possible because right now yeah we just need to expand i think we are going to die soon but we do have scandinavian elective so why is this guy getting land oh it's because it's the kingdom law but we will lose what this duchy and this county that's fine because he'll, he'll stay as a vassal anyway so it's it doesn't really matter if they get that. Oh, and we, we captured him straight away. So we can enforce demands there. We will need to give a lot of this land away. We are in a war now. Ooh, we're, we're in a struggle clash war for this county right here. And maybe we can defend this. I don't know, though. Oh, no, we have died. We're now King Halfdan. Yeah, that guy is just my vassal now, my brother, as you can see. So I'm not worried about that. Or oh, we can white peace here. Let's white peace. That's probably the best outcome there. Now, if we send an expedition to the west and go to Markland, we have a higher chance of episodes that increase or decrease Greenland's resilience. Of course, we do kind of need to increase it. So we're going to try it. We've got to pick a leader like we did at the start. You know, this guy seems like a good guy for it. So we're going to go with him and hopefully he can get a successful expedition. Ooh, finally, yes, we did get a genius son because our wife is genius and she's now 45. So that was very close. Our second son with her was a genius and hopefully he turns out good. Expedition, shipwrecked sailors. A happy ending for once. So this episode of the expedition ends with a good outcome. So currently this expedition has one good and zero bad. So as long as we get at least good results equal to the amount of bad it's considered a success so yeah you get like these events that come up they can either be good or bad if you get more good it's a success if you get more bad it's a failure okay so it's ended and it's considered a success we had two good and zero bad so greenland gained 14 resilience we gained 200 prestige and we gained some piety so yes we just need to really increase greenland's support now because we are about to go into the next struggle phase Okay, so we have officially gone into the integration phase, which is great for us. As you can see, though, we have been busy. We subjugated this guy, done a couple of like, county wars on some of these people, and we've gone just over that 50% mark that we needed to hit to end the struggle. So right now, all we have left is to get our level of fame up by quite a lot and we need to get greenland's resilience and networks up even more so what we can do for that is of course keep sending support for them and all that kind of stuff we are currently doing an expedition which hopefully if it goes successful can increase those things that we need so expedition oh we got a bad 
outcome, a lumbering accident. Oh, come on. We, we need to go even at least. Otherwise, it's just a massive waste of money. Two bad outcomes, strange whale meat. Yes, yeah, so it looks like this expedition is going to be a failure. The return. So, yes, it did fail and it decreased Greenland's resilience by four. So that was a massive waste of time. Now, what we need to happen is not go to the next stage. If it goes to the next stage, we can't end the struggle. We need to be in the integration phase. So now the rest of the game, we're just gonna try and increase Greenland's stats. So our genius son and hopefully future heirs come of age. So you've got nine diplomacy, 19 martial, 12 stewardship, 11 intrigue and 13 learning. It didn't turn out the best, but he's not bad. And I think he'll make a decent A. I'm hoping actually to finish the struggle in this guy's life. The main thing holding us back is if we check out is the resilience and network. We're, I think we're almost a max level of fame. So I'm not too bothered about that. I think they're just over 700. So we need about 150 extra resilience and networks. So yeah, it's going to be close. Okay, so the latest Greenland status report is in. We have 808 resilience and 846 networks. So that means we're very close to finally being able to do this. Look, we need 850 in both of them. They're both very close. So hopefully if we just send a couple more things of support for them and do more hunting trips when they're available. Now we can do support again in a few more months. So I'm hoping we don't die first. We're 54. Our health is fine. We are making our way through the whole of body tree. Because if we can just live long enough, we should be okay to do this. But just in case we have made our son a duke, so we can hopefully build up some prestige. Now we can once again support Greenland. And I think the best one is this one. It gets us more money annually. But other than that, it improves Greenland's resilience and networks between 1 and 20. The other two that cost 200. One's by a large random amount. The other one's by zero. Actually, we're further off from resilience, so maybe we'll do hunting stations. Oh no, it failed, so uh, it decreased it. That's exactly what we did not want to happen. It's a pretty crucial time for us to get good results now, and if they keep failing, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. And we have just gained a nemesis, and we are now in a house food. Oh no. It's not great, is it? I mean, we'll, we'll try some murders and that. We got money to just pay people to join. See if we can win this feud. I'm happy enough to just throw money at it. 150, go on then. How much are you? Another 112? All right then. 95% chance. Wait, actually failed. Okay, we're going to try again. It failed on 95. Still 95, so hopefully this time it does succeed. Right, 95% chance once more. Surely this time. Yes? Yeah, okay, he did die. So now we should be winning the feud. We're just gonna keep killing people. We can just invite so many people to make them successful because we have so much money. So it doesn't really matter. Or we can send another expedition to the west. So if we go to Markland, that seems the best to get resilience for Greenland. So we're gonna do that again. Okay, we're gonna send this guy to go, Tyke. So hopefully Tyke can pull that off for us. Oh no, our first expedition event is the lumbering accident. You know what? Let's try kill him as well. Nice. Okay, so we've killed him, but the feud did just end. We had an event. So we, we just ended the feud, but we still killed him just as a, you know, a final get mugged, basically. And the expedition was a success. We gained 15. Close. Oh, regional integration is available. So we can end the struggle. We get the nickname the Explorer. So conclude the colonization of Greenland. For a long time, Greenland has straddled the frontier of two worlds, separated by the vast ocean. There were some who wondered where the Greenland settlements founded so long ago by intrepid pioneers from Europe could last in such a harsh climate. Under my leadership, the Greenland colony is no longer an impoverished corner of the world, barely eking out an existence. It has emerged as a strong, adaptable, vigorous part of the North Atlantic civilization. What was once a trickle of goods entering the ports of Europe like walrus ivory has become flooded of peoples, ideas, cultures and trade all over the Atlantic. Now it is up to us to determine where Greenland's destiny lies next. The people of North Atlantic should develop closer ties. So this North Atlantic cultural integration Greenland grew thanks to trade. Let's continue the focus on that. So economic integration, more holding taxes, or the settlements 
of the far north must be resilient and strong. This gives us supply limit, garrison size, and control growth. You know what? More money. Let's go for more money. So with that, we have concluded the struggle with Greenland. The link for this mod will be in the description. But of course, thank you all so much for watching. And I gotta say a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Intermio1, Endulus, and Victor Voss Anderson. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.